4L. Ba -da 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 -da. Bring it, season four, episode I don't know. Girl, we headed to Cali, California love. And girl, the dogs thought the Diane's about to drag the hell out of them. Cause last week they was in there giggling. Diane said, girl, I had y'all on candy camera and I saw how y'all was acting with Tyrus. But since y'all are the good girls and y'all cutting up and stuff and y'all doing all this work, let me take y'all to LA and show y'all how it is. I really like this episode of Bring It. This was what we needed. Everything just teaching the girls about having an Asian, important of dance, and genres of dance. Everything about this seems like a grown episode of Bring It. I really did appreciate it. Diana took the girls to LA. She showed them around. And girl, they had something. Come on, da come on, dancing dolls with the 780 credit score, okay? Girl, they had the Smurfs movie advertised on their shit. I was like, okay. When they met some of the creators of the Smurfs, and it was just, it was needed. They met a choreographer called Rhapsody, and when I tell you, I appreciated her funk and spunk from the get-go. She was just on them, she was just like, let me see, I wanna see you be funky, I wanna see, I wanna see that flavor. And she pointed out Deja. When she pointed out Deja, I was just like, Deja was that girl. She was dancing in front of the camera, she was getting it, and she felt it. And when she called her out, Deja eliminated this real, real quick. She called on camera, she said, Cameron, you know, what's the tea, girl? You the leader, what's the tea, what's the tea? Cameron said she was nervous, she wasn't ready for it. Dana, being the smart woman that she is, Dana said, listen, while we in LA, I'm finna go meet some of these agents. My girl Faye gonna have something to do other than throwing these counts and stuff. She gonna be doing some other stuff. So Dana said, girl, we finna go here. So Tina brought her daughter, the assistant coach, Kayla. Mimi brought Cameron, and they went, you know, the trio, whatever they went. And they're talking to these, um, they talking to the agents and stuff. And one of the agents, I think it's MSA. And they was like, okay, girl, let's see. Let's see what the T is. Let me see y'all dance. And they start dancing. And girl, Miss Kayla could not keep up. Now, Coach Kayla, Coach Kayla, Coach Kayla with that K. Now, listen, I live for Coach Kayla ever since season one. But there is no lie that Kayla has gained a little bit of weight and it doesn't seem like she takes it as serious as she once did And them people saw that they was looking at fake. They said, okay girl, you know, give us a little bit more and Cameron was there doing it Camera cut up. I did like Cameron's performance. The only thing I did not like was Cameron's outfit that she chose to dance I don't know what that was. Girl, she was giving me cupcake rock for tease. I wasn't here for it I ain't gonna lie, Cameron. I saw you dance. All I could think about was that thing from Jurassic Park getting ready to spit on me <laughs> I just didn't want to hear from the flips. I didn't want to hear whatever that shit is. Take that off, girl. It was a girl. You right here look like a sexy flower, girl. Cameron did it. She had it. She ended up winning. Them folks got on Kayla ass so bad. And you know, it, it was constructive criticism. And I'll just say this. I'm glad that somebody gave it to Kayla and just made her rethink of what she wants to do because Kayla, here's the thing. We all want to say, oh, I'm good at hip hop. And that stuff still wasn't strong enough. And they told in the beginning, for you to excel, you need to know all genres of dance. You need to know your stuff. Not going to be in a Beyonce music video. You ain't going to be in a Mariah Carey video if she even does another one or whatever the hell she be doing. Doing this. You ain't going to be doing that all the time. Every once in a while, you know, people choose to do this stuff. But girl, you got to be able to get it. And you got to be flexible. You got to be, you have to have that stamina. And some of you all don't have it. And it showed. And Kayla, girl, you used to be that girl. But, you know, you got And Kayla, she took it as constructive criticism. She, you know, she teared up a little bit. But it was, it was needed. The girls are late as hell. And they're heading to practice. And Diana, like, girl, what's the tea? Y'all should have told me that y'all want to do all this type of stuff. I'm proud of them the people that represent me. I want you all to do that stuff, but y'all got to let me know what it is, girl. Y'all know that shit was made up. You know Diana knew about that way before, girl. She was probably one that set the stuff up and told them about it. But nonetheless, they practice and get ready. We get ready to go up against the Divas of Compton and Inferno. So we get to creative. We're here. we ready to battle it out. Automatically, Inferno and their creative was just amazing to me. I loved it. I was not expecting that. I was not Inferno. Y'all delivered. Y'all look good. Coach Kales, your girls, the creative. She wasn't all that cute to me. It was just a lot going on. And sometimes I'm not sure what to do because the camera does not focus on you all as much. The other people that go against the dolls, the camera does not focus on y'all. So I can't really tell by watching the episode if y'all were really good or not. Cause you know, the camera takes away, just like Rhapsody says, it takes away the image of you looking good. So, you know, when y'all take these cuts and y'all show stuff that I don't need to see, like the audience and Mimi's makeup not being cute, it's just, it, it kinda just makes, I just confuses me. So like when we see the DDP's reaction, I'm like, I don't need all of this. But you know, to me, it was just all over the place. It was a little too much. Girl, y'all had Ashley ever as a judge. So I already knew that this was gonna be fair and balance because Ashley Ever knows her dance, girl. She knows her dance. 
The choreographer challenge. Let me tell you something. Cutting up, my girl, Ken Janae, you look good. Christiana, you look good. Professor the camera, you look good as hell. Faith, you look good. Michaela, my girl, Michaela. Oh, Michaela just be, oh my God, a little bit with a strong bit. I can't, I love me some Michaela. Michaela be out there. She was getting, she said, eh, eh. But overall, Deja, you look good too. All y'all looked really good. Um, The choreographer challenge was interesting, honey. The Divas of Compton took their home, honey. The Divas of Compton took their home. And I'm not surprised because the Divas of Compton just looked like they were just, that's their stuff. They, they, they know their stuff. That's in their blood, like that type of dance and stuff. And, and you know, Coach Kelly probably teaching them a lot of stuff. Now, Coach Kelly's girl, you cut your dress off or something, but I love your dress. I've always loved your dress. I love your image. You have a beautiful image on the show. Your image is beautiful. I love the dress. I love that about you. I did not like that wig, honey. Girl, that wig was holding on like Mufasa at Pride Rock, girl. Just long live the king, girl. And your edge was just about to throw. I, I mean, it was just going to be overboard, girl. It was just a little par right here. And it was making me, I don't know if that was Pride Rock or if that's where the hyenas was there and we were just going through, girl. Just run away and never return. Like, girl, it was giving me too much. But Coach Chaos, I don't know if there was a wig you had on your dress. But, girl, your dress are cute. If you cut your hair, let us know something, girl. Email me, text me something. Text me, call me if you want to beat me. Kim Possible tease. But, girl, I did not like that wig. But I do love your... Coach Chaos is cute. She's a cute girl. Girls did good, amazing with the choreographer challenge. They did really good with that. The dancing dolls come out to their little smurf head stuff. And it was precision, precise, on point, everything, girl. Stamped and approved, honey. I loved everything that y'all gave. But I'm going to have to give y'all just a little piece for the city because y'all stuff was so production-wise. Y'all had the smurfs in the background. Y'all had time, and, and like the camera gave y'all a full, full shot, girl. I saw everything. But y'all, nonetheless, y'all look good. But it's sometimes hard for me to judge because you all know they was going to show the dolls more. This is a promotion for Smurfs, the movie. Like, this is this is production and stuff for them. But the dancing dolls, y'all look good. You're precise. The girls look energetic. They look energized. They did it. And they end up winning um, first place with that in creative. And Inferno won um, second place as they deserve because theirs, were, theirs was good. Um, the dancing dolls come out there. You I mean, that's hard to compete with. And you got these folks out here doing this whole production and stuff. That's some hard stuff to do. But nonetheless, the dolls looked amazing. The dolls looked amazing. This episode was very unique because I was kind of I was kind of scared a little bit. I didn't know how to feel because I was hearing some stuff that was kind of really, really scripted this episode, uh, so I wasn't sure how to feel about it, but once I seen it, I liked it. I liked it. Um, and there was a whole bunch of drama and shit going on on Facebook about how the teens and treating all the type of stuff. Let me put this PSA out. So the girls are always ready to clap back at me, but girl, I am the king, the queen, and the prince and princess of clapping back. Let me just tell you this. The coach is the image of the team. Now, y'all be around right here pooching around, and y'all be acting here like these trophies don't matter. The trophies matter in a certain way. If that's the case, y'all ass wouldn't be going to compete doing all this silly shit. So when you don't get the trophy, don't get mad. Take the criticism. If somebody telling you that your team needs work, your team needs work. And if you ain't no good coach, step your cookies up. Go get you a baker or something. Get you another recipe. Ultimately, your team can only be as good as the coach. So if the coach not bringing out the best of them, you need to reevaluate and feel, and you need to find out what you need to do to make that happen. Happen. The girls be so pressed, honey. I don't be understanding, honey. Y'all always want, and then y'all want to sit here and say, well, Diana said this and Diana said this. But Diana ain't the queen of dancing. She ain't the king of dancing. And her, sh her word don't mean shit. Like, it, like her, her word is the fourth final order or some shit, girl. Like, case closed. No, girl, case open, girl. Resubmit it. You've been summoned, honey, to appear in my jury, honey, to sit up here and not be, not judged, but be judged, okay? So if you are the coach of a team and you can't get your shit together, you can't get your girl together, your guys or whoever the hell, you need to get your shit together. That's what needs to happen. You can't be right here mad because folks telling you and all this and folks saying like, girl, da da da, 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 da. but girl, I, I just, I don't, I think folks don't be understanding how ultimately how this shit goes. Like they be really pressed and angry and upset instead of just trying to fix the problem. Y'all be so interested in being, ah, ah, ooh, ah. It fades for the damn camera that you forget about your team. And that applies to everybody who has been on Bring It. And like I said so many times and times again, if these bullets hit you, let them touch and agree with your spirit. Because I'm always going to be completely honest because ain't never one of you paying my damn bills, okay? And none of you make my bowels move, okay? So with
with that being said, take this in consideration and fix your shit and move on about your business. I appreciate this episode of Bring It. Diana, you did this, loved it, appreciated the show so much that you all have really grown um, for um, the Smurfs to be working with you all and doing some sunny pictures or whatever to be working with you all. That means a lot. So that's really cute. That's sexy. And I, you know, I bow, I bow to you because that was cute, honey. You did that. We'll see y'all next week for next week's episode of Bring It. I don't know what it is because they be trying to make us watch the rap battle. And that's not some shit I can watch, girl. Bye.